Your Excellencies, Pradhan Madri Kishida, Pradhan Madri Anthony Albanese, and Rashtrapati Biden. Pradhan Madri Kishida, for your beautiful evening, you are very grateful for your support. आज टोक्यो में मित्रों के बीच होना मेरे लिए बहुत खुशी की बात है मैं सबसे पहले प्रधानमंत्री एंथनी अनबने जी चुनावों में विजय के लिए आपको बहुत बहुत बधाई बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं शपथ लेने के 24 घंटे के बाद ही आपका हमारे बीच होना कौर मित्रता की ताकत और इसके प्रति आपकी प्रतिबद्धता को दिखाता है एक्सलेंसीज इतने कम समय में क्वार समूह ने विश्व पटल पर एक महत्वपूर्ण स्थान बना लिया है आज क्वार का स्कोप व्यापक हो गया है और स्वरूप प्रभावी हो गया है हमारा आपसी विश्वास हमारा डिटर्मिनेशन लोकतांत्रिक शक्तियों को नई ऊर्जा और उत्साह दे रहा है क्वाड के स्तर पर हमारे आपसी सहयोग से एक फ्री ओपन और इंक्लूसिव इंडो पैसिफिक क्षेत्र को प्रोत्साहन मिल रहा है जो हम सभी का साझा उद्देश्य है कोविड 19 की विपरीत परिस्थितियों के बावजूद हमने वैक्सीन डिलीवरी क्लाइमेट एक्शन सप्लाई चेन रेजिलियंस डिजास्टर रिस्पॉन्स और आर्थिक सहयोग जैसे कई क्षेत्रों में आपसी समन्वय बढ़ाया है इससे इंडो पैसिफिक में शांति समृद्धि और स्थिरता सुनिश्चित हो रही है क्वाड इंडो पैसिफिक क्षेत्र के लिए एक कंस्ट्रक्टिव एजेंडा लेकर चल रहा है इससे क्वाड की छवि एक फोर्स फॉर गुड के रूप में और भी सुदृढ़ होती जाएगी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद इट्स वंडरफुल टू बी टुगेदर विथ फ्रेंड्स एंड एट दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव मोमेंट इन द वर्ल्ड एंड वी आर एट अ ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव मोमेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर कशीर आई वांट टू कमेंड यू फॉर द एक्सट्रॉर्डिनरी लीडरशिप दैट ओवर द पास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स यू हैव शोन एंड the gracious way in which you've hosted all of us. And Prime Minister Modi, it's wonderful to see you again in person. The, uh, I thank you for your continuing commitment to making sure democracies deliver, because that's what this is about, democracies versus autocracies, and we have to make sure we deliver. Prime Minister Albanese, uh, I welcome you to your first Quad meeting. Like I said, uh, you got on a plane, you were sworn in, got on a plane, and I, if you fall asleep while you're here, it's okay, I, because I don't know how you're doing it, but <laughs> it's really quite extraordinary, just getting off the campaign trail as well. Congratulations on your election. As I told you when you won, I called you that uh, we greatly appreciate your commitment of being here so soon after uh, taking office. Quad leaders met for the first time just uh, over one year ago. It seems longer, but today our partnership is central to achieving our goals uh, uh, and, uh, and critical for the foundation of our continuing cooperation, in my view. We already accomplished a great deal, as was referenced earlier, cooperating on COVID-19 response and health security. More to do, to state the obvious. Partnering on 5G and technology supply chains, technology standard setting, and launching our our Quad Fellowship Program, which I think is going to make a difference, which we talked about earlier. At the same time, we're navigating a dark hour in our shared history. The uh, Russian brutal and unprovoked war against Ukraine has triggered a humanitarian catastrophe, and innocent civilians have killed in the streets, and millions of refugees are internally displaced as well as exiled. And uh, this is more than just a European issue. It's a global issue. The fact is that what, if you turn on the television, you'll see what Russia is doing now. It appears to me that Putin is just trying to ex extinguish a culture. He's not even aiming at military targets anymore. He's taking out 
every school, every church, every every natural history museum, as if to try to obliterate Ukrainian uh, culture. And uh, the world has to deal with it, and we are. The global food crisis is made worse by Russia's blocking Ukraine uh, from exporting its millions of tons of grain. And also, uh, as long as Russia continues the war, the United States will work with our partners uh, to help lead a global response, because it can affect all parts of the world. At the same time, the United States must and will be strong, steady, and enduring partner in the Indo-Pacific. We are in the Indo-Pacific. We are, we are an Indo-Pacific power. As once asked by, well, I won't go into it, but I was once asked by the leader of China why I kept talking about being an Indo-Pacific power. I said, because we are. We share the Pacific, one entire side of our country. And we have been deeply involved with all of you for a long time. As long as Russia continues this war, we're going to continue to be partners and lead a global response. And, you know, uh, we're Indo-Pacific powers, I said. We're going to stand with you, our close democratic partners. And we're going to stand for the shared values that uh, and the shared vision we all have. You know, shortly before Russia launched its invasion, my administration published our Indo-Pacific strategy to advance a free, open, connected, secure, and resilient Indo-Pacific. Russia's assault on Ukraine only heightens the importance of those goals, the fundamental principles of international order, territorial integrity and sovereignty, international law, human rights, must always be defended, regardless of where they're violated in the world. So the Quad has a lot of work ahead of us. It's uh, the fact of the matter is that we have a lot of work to do, keeping this region peaceful and stable, tackling this pandemic and the next one, and addressing the climate crisis, as referenced by our new colleague, ensuring that technologies of the future are governed according to our values, governed according to our values. But a short time, in a short time, we've shown the Quad isn't just a passing fad. We mean business. We're here to get things done for the region, and I'm proud of what we're building together, and I look forward to our vital partnership flourishing and for many years to come. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Minister oh, Albanese, uh, welcome to Tokyo. I would like uh, to offer uh, my sincere congratulations. Uh, thank you for being here today. え、昨年、え、日本がバトンを受け継ぎ、ま、こうして東京で首脳会合を、ま、実現できたことを、ま、大変嬉しく思っています。え、昨年9月の、ま、会合以降、我々が、ま、重視する、え、法の支配に基づ
South Asia, as well as the Pacific Island countries, so as to further advance cooperation conducive in solving urgent issues facing the region. During this meeting, I wish to clarify the concrete progress of practical cooperation that we have to discuss new areas of cooperation, such as a stake in regional climate change countermeasure, maritime domain awareness, as well as humanitarian aid, and relief. Now, first of all, may I please to President Biden and Prime Minister Modi, firstly, can I thank you for your sincere congratulations on my election as Australia's 31st Prime Minister. It is an honour that this is my first act as Prime Minister to attend uh, this important Quad Leaders meeting here in Japan. And as we gather today, I acknowledge all that the Quad has achieved. Standing together, for a free, open and resilient Indo-Pacific region and working together to tackle the biggest challenges of our time, including climate change and the security of our region. My government is committed to working with your countries and we are committed to the Quad. The new Australian government's priorities align with the Quad agenda, taking action on climate change, and building a stronger and more resilient Indo-Pacific region through better economic security, better cyber security, better energy security, and better environmental and health security. Our cooperation is built on the values that we share. A commitment to representative democracy, the rule of law, and the right to live in peace. Today, we look ahead to the work we're yet to do. As the Indo-Pacific is reshaped, our Quad partnership is needed now more than ever to meet the challenges and threats of a less certain world, to shape that, that world for the better, and build a stronger, more cooperative Indo-Pacific region that respects sovereignty. The region is looking to us to work with them and to lead by example. That's why my government will take ambitious action on climate change and increase our support to partners in the region as they work to address it, including with new finance. We will act in recognition that climate change is the main economic and security challenge for the island countries of the Pacific. Under my government, Australia will set a new target to reduce emissions by 43% by 2030, putting us on track for net zero by 2050. We have had a change of government in Australia, but Australia's commitment to the Quad has not changed and will not change. And our commitment to ASEAN and its centrality has not changed. My government has already committed to a greater focus on Southeast Asia, including the appointment of a special envoy for the region and $470 million in additional foreign aid over the next four years. This is in addition to our increasing assistance to the Pacific by over half a billion dollars, deepening our defence and maritime cooperation and using the power of proximity to strengthen our partnerships. We will bring more energy and more resources to securing our region as we enter a new and more complex phase in the Pacific's strategic environment. And we will continue to stand with you, our like-minded friends. And collectively, we will continue to stand up for each other. We will stand firm on our values and our beliefs, on what we know will enhance the stability and prosperity of our region, and what is firmly in the interests of all those who call the Indo-Pacific home. I'm honoured to be among such close friends of Australia, to take these next steps with you, to pursue positive and practical ways to support a free, open and resilient Indo-Pacific. I look forward to strengthening our Quad partnership, starting with 
a productive meeting today. And I'm delighted to hand over to Prime Minister Modi. Thank you.